Alright, I'm back with part 3 of my Fallout 3 playthrough. Um, where we last left off, we got the Rivet City, got the Intelligence Bobblehead, and we actually got, I think we got the Replicated Man quest, which involved, yep, which involved the uh, Zimmer's Missing Android. I guess we could listen to this. Uh, apparently I gotta turn up dialogue again. Um, I also turned the difficulty up to normal so I can get more XP per kill and uh, make the game a little bit more interesting. Uh, there we go, turn that on. That's interesting. Um, we're actually going to do this replicated man quest. I'm going to do what I uh, do what I can about it. Uh, if I can't, then so be it. We're going to try and finish this quest, and we're going to try and see if we can. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll just finish the replicated man quest first, and then we'll go from there. Um, from what I know, where is Seagraves? Door. Actually, let's. Is there any notes? Zimmer. By the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking. That I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against the system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Hmm. It's interesting. Um, can we steal this stuff? Yeah, we can. Um, uh, Jam, what does he have? Flame? Wow, that's a lot of flame fuel. 44 Magnum. Amazing. Oh, someone sees me. Now they don't. Let's steal the food. <laughs> um. Oh, hello. Uh, we could talk to this guy, Abraham Washington, for, um interesting quest to get probably one of the greatest rifles in the game um, which we'll do later but we'll just get the quest right now from him quite an impressive collection isn't it well don't be shy have a look around Abraham Washington's the name curator of this little slice of American history it's a very interesting collection indeed ah a fellow scholar I see each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. What's the missing document? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. If you want me to retrieve your declaration, all you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the Society's collection here. Sure, I'll take part in history. I'll bring you the declaration. You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. See you around. Be careful. Okay. Um, another quest we gotta do? We're not gonna do that right now. Um... Obviously, we need to get the Declaration of Independence 
Uh, we could also get one of the, the one of the greatest rifles in the game, or at least in my opinion, which you'll see when we get to it. And that guy just cats can tell you. Uh, we're just trying to find Seagraves place. Calm down. Mr. Lopez. George. Okay, we need to find this guy's little thing. Yeah, that's, that's not the right one. Might be in a different area. I'll check upstairs. Bannon. A lock pick in. Hi, Bannon. I'll watch you sleep. Uh, hi. Hmm. Where the hell is this guy? Ooh, flag and sh Now they see me. I can't do that. Where is this guy's? Dr. Preston. Everyone I don't need. Science Lab. Dr. Lee. Shut up, Garza. Um, is Preston in here? I think he is. Get ask him questions. I think he might know something about the Commonwealth. Oh, we leveled up. What can I do for you? Uh, do you know anything about the android from the Commonwealth? That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax, someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was there was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from some place called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. <laughs> See you around. Take care. Okay. Oh, level up. Forgot about that. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna increase my lockpick to 50. And barter to 30. Small. Uh, repair. Um. Intense training, we can do intense training. Or we could do swift learner. Let's do intense training. Um, let's keep going with endurance. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Quest for help. Escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Okay. 
Um, we're gonna try another shot at this. Try to find Seagraves door because I'm sure he has the last or the next hollow tape we need to find uh, the person we're looking for. No, I don't take drugs. No 420 blazing for me right now, bud. Um. Oh my god, I can't find this guy's door. No. This is the church. There he is, Seagrave Holmes' door. Now hopefully if I did everything right, the hollow tape is in here. Should be in here. Yep, there it is. There we go. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton and Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Mm-hmm. And we need to find Pinkerton. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty easy. Hey. Hey. What time is it right now? It's 1.40. Uh, that's why we can't go to the Rivet City Marketplace. So let's wait for like seven hours. So we can go to Flack and Shraffles and get and sell some stuff. Hello, Victoria Watts. Don't talk to me because you're annoying. Please. No. Don't run. Okay, you're stuck. You are stuck. Why are you stuck? I'll be the priest. Okay, that's not going to be entertaining. Seagrave, you look ridiculous with that retarded helmet on your head. You need to do something about that. I'm looking for troublemakers, I guess. No. Hello, Shrapnel. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. I love guns. Nothing of a kick of a 44. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. I'm gonna buy some ordnance. What you looking for? Guns, ammo, probably new armor. No, we don't have any good armor. Okay, good. Wait, that's not good. Oh, he has a lot. He has mini nukes. Christ. Oh my God. He has a lot of ammo though. Uh, what kind of guns do you have? You have a Chinese assault rifle. Thank you and good night. You have a fat man. All of your stuff is crap. It's in horrible condition. Oh well. Take this. Take those. And take that, whatever that is. Take this crap I don't need. Flamer fuel, take that too. Oh, okay. Actually, let me take some stim packs. Yeah, I'll be fine. Pleasure doing business with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, your repair skill is really bad, so I'm gonna repair these myself. And it's still really bad. Okay. Um, I wasn't. Hello. Uh, what's in here? Ammo. Be a shame if someone, if someone picked that. Yeah. Huh? Stop hacking all over the place. I'm good. Well, we got a Chinese assault rifle. Let's see if the glitch is uh, still happening, like the meshes and stuff with it. Hope not. Probably is. Ah, oh, crap. It is. I need to fix that. For now, I'm not going to use it. Use a regular assault rifle. 
I had to go into the game files and fix that. I just broke my legs. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Uh, what if we jump off into here? Here we go. Nice. <laughs> so I know where to find Pinkerton. So we're gonna go over here. God knows how this man actually got here. No. Don't want to drown in here. Go. Ah. Oh. Anyone here? Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Neither is that, because it's a horrible condition. Don't holster your gun! Okay. I'm so lucky that guy did not attack me. Dance, dance, hump the water. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a Marler down here, but guess what? I care. I do care, actually. Die. Is it Vats take you out right now? That's right. Okay, where's this damn Pinkerton? I haven't played this in a while. Up here, I'm guessing. Oh, crap. Here we go. That is a fake 44. It's not. Huh. Thought it was, because I know Pinkerton has traps around here. That's awesome. Definitely keeping that. I'm gonna need that. Ammo box. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, Pinkerton's over here. Oh, what's over here? Frag mine. Stim pack. Water, nice. Pulse mine. Shotguns. Disarm the shotguns and take them. Thank you. Um, nothing there. Oh, crap. Okay. That's a little obnoxious. I guess fire can go through doors. Anyway. I'm surprised you can't drink milk bottles. That surprises me. Because if there's milk, why wouldn't you be able to consume that? I don't, I don't understand. It's fake. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, where's this damn 90-year-old guy? There he is. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. <laughs> This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Let's discuss this facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what you know. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Uh -huh. he wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. 
That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. <laughs> What's she got to do with this? Show me the proof about the android. Well, she's got nothing to do with anything except ruining my whole goddamn life. <laughs> but I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. <laughs> Hell, just take these pictures in this holotape, straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway, and you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Harkness should be told. Would you know anything about doing that? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. This guy. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. And that will activate the hidden subroutine. I'll be going. Don't let your guard down. Okay. So we can go on his terminal and be like blah 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 blah. Ooh, look at my science book. Mr. Aprigliano would be proud. Some scrap metal here. We get back to Walter and we get back to Megaton. Whatever that might be. I want a quick save. Thought he saw me for a minute. What to say? Freaking hacker. God damn it, he saw me. He didn't see me, that's heck. Aw, uh, damn. Quick save. Take the thingamabobbins. There we go, that's all I wanted. Just want the caps. Oh, he's a stam. He's freaking stealth poison. This guy's a baller. Damn. Where's this terminal? Oh. Android log one. Um, let's just download the Android logs. Before picture. After. Huh. That's interesting. See you later, Pinkerton. I'm gonna go tell Harkness that he is not who he actually is. And, uh... Report to Zimmerman or warn Harkness about Zimmer. I'm not telling Zimmer, because I don't like Zimmer. And Harkness is pretty cool, so... We'll tell... Harkness, and then we'll deal with the Zimmer. He's in the market. There he is. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? I'm not sure how to put this, but. You're not who you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Look, Jim, I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. This isn't an existential debate. You're a robot from the Commonwealth. Excuse me? Look, kid, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here. Or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest portal. Uh, if you don't believe me, I am telling the truth. Truth? If there's one thing I've learned, it's this. There is no such thing as THE truth. Just the appearance of truth. And for anyone to try to sell their version of the truth, they need evidence. 
You have no evidence for your ridiculous claims. So I have no more time to waste talking with you. Threaten me all you want, but I have pictures and audio testimony to uh, prove. Alright, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. <laughs> it's not real blood, Harkness. It's synthetic. Synthetic, just like everything else. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? I'm sorry, Harkness, but there's only one way. Activate A321 recall code violet. Ah, my god. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My god. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My god. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Don't worry, Harkness. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. I'm really not sure how people would react if they found out I'm, you know, not entirely human. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Best weapon I've ever had. And I've had it for nice. nice. Well, now that you know the truth, what are you going to do about this? I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of them are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you around. Carry on. No. I want to steal your gun. I'm kidding. Okay, um... Yeah, that's that's that. Um, Zimmer's not really involved in much of this anymore, because we're not going to tell him about it. We got the plasma rifle. Let me just repair my stuff real quick. Yeah. We got the plasma rifle. Pretty cool. I'm going to probably upgrade my energy skills my energy weapon skills so I can use it much better. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this part three. Part four should be up uh, later on, whenever I feel like uh, uploading it or recording it. Peace.